Hey there guys, my name is Shadow Calibur, and I'm going to be guiding you through the first day in Minecraft. Now this is a big problem for some people because they're new to the game and they don't quite know what to do. I'm going to be explaining how to craft all the basic resources and materials and how to survive and the best way to, um, to survive in Minecraft. Now, so you guys can go along with me. We're going to be using the same seed together so that way we have the same exact world. Now if you're watching this on a future date, the seed might not work uh, because uh, Minecraft has been updated. But uh, we're going to try it anyway. So go ahead and create a new world. I'm going to title it um, Survival. I didn't even spell that right, did I? There we go. Um, so Survival. Leave the game mode on Survival, obviously. More world options. Leave these two off. Generate structures on. World default. World, world, blah, blah, world type default. And then the uh, seed generator is going to be um, First Night. Just like that, no capitals. Uh, actually, all capitals, all put together, no spaces. So we're going to click Done, and then we're going to click Create New World. Now, this is going to take a second to create, but in the meantime, I'm going to be um, explaining basically what Minecraft is. It's a giant sandbox game, survival. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably have some sort of interest in Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to stop recording just for a second so the world will load and it won't be laggy, uh, and everything will be quick. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so the world has loaded for me, and basically, when you f when you spawn, you want to go directly to a tree. I know that you've probably heard this before, but the best thing to do in a Minecraft world is to go to a tree. It doesn't matter. As you can see, there's millions of trees around. Just go to the nearest one and start punching the poop out of it. Now, you hold down left click on your mouse to destroy a block, and we're going to hold down left uh, mouse button to uh, destroy and, and harvest this entire tree. Now... Sometimes these trees are a bit too tall to harvest all of them. It's okay. It's Minecraft. They will float there forever. So if you ever want to come back and get it, it it's, it's going to be here for you. Um, so there you go. Fun fact. Um, now after we get the wood until we can't reach anymore, we're going to craft a crafting table, which is the first thing you want to craft. So we're going to, we're going to grab the uh, wooden logs, place them in one of the four crafting squares, and you're going to hold shift and then left click. Or you can just click like a million times to get all of them. But this is just a quicker way to harvest all of the stack, like the entire stack of wood. So, you're going to go ahead and um, left click on the item to drag it and hold around with it. You don't have to click it once, you don't have to hold left click or anything. But um, right click in each square one time to drop an item. And there you go, crafting table. Now, as you can see, this is a 2x2 two two crafting. The crafting table allows us to have a 3x3 three three crafting, so we can craft pretty much everything else in the game. So, now what you want to do is craft sticks to make uh, some other materials. What you want to do is you want to put um, this stack of wood in the uh, in any block, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just going to put it in the middle. And then you left click on it, or you right click on the stack, just cut it in half, and then put another half, like so it's like this. One's on top of the other. Um, hopefully that's good explaining. Don't don't turn all this into sticks. Just like click a couple times, and so that way you have a couple wood left over. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, drop the item like this, three on top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom middle, and you're gonna make a pickaxe. Now we're gonna make one more item, sword, and let's go ahead and make an axe because we can cut some more trees down. So there you go. That's how you craft three of the most. Um, not useful items, but three of the most primary items that you have in Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and destroy the crafting table with the axe because it's made of wood, and it will destroy faster. So basically, you have a you have a good amount of time. It's not going to go dark really anytime soon. But the way to tell is to look in the sky. As you can see, the sun is slowly moving up this way, um, and it's going to be midday soon when it's obviously right above us, and then it'll be. Um, the, the late afternoon and then it'll become night and obviously monsters come out in the night so we want to get trees and a shelter going so we don't die now we're going to destroy some more wood harvest some of the more wood and um, we're going to get a good bit of it because we want to have a house it doesn't have to be a, a massive mansion just something to shelter you while you're um, waiting out the dark now you guys you guys can uh, and, and are able to skip night in minecraft you have to have a bed though so I'm going to show you guys how to craft a bed, and you're going to need sheep to be around you. Um, so hopefully you guys have the same seed as I do, which we have the same map. And we're going to get some um, we're gonna get some sheeps. Now all you have to do is hit them a couple times with the sword, and they will die. And they drop one wool each. Sometimes they don't drop any. Sometimes they drop a few more uh, than one. See, that one didn't drop anything. Um, now you don't need all the same color wool, so you can get two white and uh, one black, because we need three wool total. So after we got that, 
find a little uh, find a nice little area to settle um, I'm just gonna sit on top of this little area here because it's a nice little overview of the uh, of the ocean so uh, there you go just find a good spot to live and if you can't find a good spot right away then that's fine just um, just build a house wherever you can now we're gonna start building the house after I cut this tree down and I'm going to show you guys how to build a basic house, a door for protection, and uh, we can even get some windows going. Uh, and now you need sand for windows, so make sure you're near a beach or something. Sand's really common, so you shouldn't have a problem finding it. So we're going to grab the wood logs, put them in our crafting table, and then we're going to uh, click a bunch of times so you can shift click and you can get all of them instantly. So there you go. You got the spruce log or the planks. And um, I'm just going to left, we're going to right click on the ground. And it will place a block, and we're going to continue placing the blocks all around. Just like a square, so that way we can have walls around us and have some sort of shelter. Now you may have to get more trees because you may not have enough. But this is not going to be too big, so we should be fine. Plus there's plenty of trees, um, so you're never going to run out. This is how I make my houses. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> Um, but basically, just big, just build like a house with walls around it, because we're going to be in here, obviously. You can go ahead and put your crafting table in here, because that's where we're going to put, um, this is where we're going to be, like, that's going to be where we're going to live inside the house, obviously. So, we're going to right-click again on these blocks, and we can build up, oops, I'll, I'll get that right now. Um, okay, so, place some more blocks on top of the other blocks, build a house, simple, simple, simple. Now, what you want to do um, is obviously we've ran out of wood, so um, we're gonna want to make a doorway. Uh, the door can be the door can be here, I guess. So this is the little doorway. I'm gonna move this crafting table back in here. Um, this is just my personal preference. You don't have to move it anywhere else, anywhere you don't want to put it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chop down another tree because we need more wood. There's an awful lot of crafting in this game, hence the name Minecraft. And um, there's lots of digging, mining, and Harvesting trees. You need lots of lots of wood. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna chop down a lot of trees in your Minecraft uh, experience or the time that you're playing Minecraft. So we're gonna go and get some more planks, and we're going to make a door. Now, how you make a door is six. You only need six um six planks. So I'm gonna give myself six. I'm gonna place one here, 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 and here. Now, as you can see, it will make a door. Now you can put this on either side, as you can see it does not matter as long as there's two columns of three right next to each other. So there we go, we got a wooden door. And now no monsters are going to be able to get in. Now you right click on the ground to place it and then you right click on the door to open it up. There you go. So we're making ourselves safe, safer and safer by the moment. Now we need three on the bottom to make a bed and then we need three on top. As you can see that can make a bed. And when it becomes nighttime, you can instantly skip the night, which is amazing. So if there's no sheep around you, you're might you are not going to be able to do this until later on, because sometimes you don't spawn near sheep. I am lucky that I spawn near sheep. Uh, now, as you can see, you can right-click on it to sleep, but I can only sleep at night. And uh, it's about uh, what time is it? I can't really see the sun, but it'll be dark soon, and I'll and I'll show you guys how to sleep. So that's basically setting up a house. And now skeletons you may be aware of, can shoot bow and arrows through windows if there's no glass here, obviously. So we're going to um, make a little shovel real quick, and we're going to hurry up and get some sand and smelt it and make a glass block. And I'm also going to show you guys how to get some coal and the best way to find coal and the um, easiest way. And I'm also going to show you guys how to make a furnace, which is how you cook stuff. So we, got, we only need... Um, a few because our house is really small but that's fine because we can upgrade the house um, after we survive the first night because the first night is always a struggle for some people um, so let me just get some more sand here and a lovely music plays throughout this game so it's it's definitely it's definitely a peaceful game uh, Minecraft is my favorite game of all time um, I've had it for a really long time since it was like in alpha and um, I mean I just love this game so much so hopefully I can upload videos that help you guys out so yeah now um, 
This does look a little weird because I like outcropped all of that, but it's fine. We'll restore th we'll restore that later. So we got plenty of sand, um, and now we're gonna go back up to the house. Try not to forget where it was. I know where it's at, but I'm like on top of a mountain, so it's gonna be kind of hard <laughs> sometimes to get back up. Okay, so we can't make glass until we have a furnace, and we we need stone to have a furnace. Now we can get stone really quick, even though the sun is setting as we see as we speak. So we're gonna go ahead and make a mine shaft really quick. Just dig down like this, diagonally. Don't just dig straight down. That's not a good idea. I'll explain later. <laughs> just dig down like this. Um, and there you go. You got stone already. And our shovel broke. Perfect timing. So we got some stone here. We need eight of them to smelt items. But we need coal to smelt. So hopefully we can find some coal. Coal is really, really common. It's the most common ore in the game. So it's all over the place. So you should not have a problem finding it. But sometimes coal is difficult to find. So we're going to try to find some coal um, really quick before monsters come. But if you do not find coal, there's a there's a secondary way that you can make uh, coal. You, you, there's like coal and then there's charcoal. Obviously charcoal is like the substitute version of coal. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. If we don't find it, let me just dig a few more blocks. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can see what's going on right now. I can barely see because it's so dark. Oh, did you just hear that noise? That's an indicator that there's a cave nearby. So we'll explore that later. Um, I do not actually see any coal. Um, so, you know, it's it's not a big of a deal. Because there's another way to milk, make charcoal, which is the same exact thing as coal. Um, but yeah, it is dark time. It is dark time. It is night. And monsters will start to spawn soon. Unless you're on peaceful. But peaceful is not fun. Because you got to experience Minecraft and... Peaceful takes away from all the fun. So, we're going to go ahead and make a furnace. We're going to grab our cobblestone and we're going to place um, place them in this sort of shape, a little circle, by right clicking on the crafting table and dropping one into each slot. We're going to make a furnace. Uh, let's put it here. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have a furnace and you're going to want to put your fuel down here and your uh, food or whatever you're cooking up there. Now, we do need logs to do this. So if you have any extra logs, that'll be good to make some or use them. But I'm just gonna pick up a few here because um, we gotta make charcoal. And to make charcoal, you smelt logs with planks, uh, which is really weird. I don't know how that works, but yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. So hopefully, before we get killed by any monsters, we can get inside our little cozy house and get a fire going and get some um, get some wall get some uh, windows going. So here we go. We're making some. We're making, some, we're making some charcoal. So here we how do we do it. We put a log up top, or a wood, and we put the planks on the bottom. And as you can see, it gives us charcoal. Now, charcoal is exactly like coal. It just looks a little bit different. And um, you get it the same exact way as you get regular, um, or it burns the same amount of stuff as regular coal. So we're going to make another furnace. While that's making charcoal, we're going to put another furnace down, and we're going to start making glass, which is putting sand up top and... Um, coal on the bottom of the, or your fuel source and it will smelt into um, smelt into glass. Now I'm going to quickly cover up a, um, a wall or a roof here. <laughs> this roof is really terrible but just use whatever you have to, um, to cover yourself up because I don't see any monsters right now but they are out there I can, I can assure you that. Um, so we got three glass so far we're going to right click on the block we want to place it on again and we got uh, some glass here now the glass doesn't look that good in this texture pack because this is the default texture pack I for one love the default texture pack because it's just this is what minecraft looks like in minecraft I like the uh, simple feel of minecraft but there are texture packs I'll show you guys how to install texture packs and skins for your, for your character as you can see I've got like a squid and a suit skin I'll show you guys how to install skins and all that later on in another video but uh, oh these right here are called saplings if you don't know and basically what I like to do is I like to plant two more saplings every time I cut down a tree. This is just a baby tree, so eventually this will grow um, and will produce more trees. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to grab some of this glass, and there we go. We've got all of the um, window slots covered up. And as you can see, it's gone dark. Now you want to make torches? We're about to make some torches. Now you can do this with charcoal and coal. We're going to place one coal or one charcoal right here and then a stick right under it. And it's going to make four torches. 
and these torches can be used to, uh, to light up the dark obviously keep monsters away if you light up the general area um, say like out here if I just like place torches um, here and uh, here and you light up your general area monsters will not spawn here because they do not spawn in darkness which is um, which is awesome so you can light up your area and prevents and prevent um, creepy crawlers so as you guys can see here I'm doing the unthinkable which is walking up to bad guys but this is just to show you guys what they look like because no skeletons or anything actually came up to me so I'm gonna try to fight the skeleton real quick um, and uh, I'm gonna try to okay not doing too good not doing too good not doing too good I forfeit I forfeit okay bad bad idea don't ever do that <laughs> especially if you only have a wooden sword this guy is probably gonna kill me so we're gonna go back up to the house and we're gonna go to bed in the uh, bed that we made um, so that just goes to show how dangerous those guys are out there you don't you you know I mean you want to be careful because don't underestimate them like I just did they will kill you <laughs> um, so we're gonna right click on the um, bed and we're gonna go to sleep so as you can see your screen will get darker and darker and darker like you're closing your eyes and you will wake up again and as you can see it is morning yay we survived and there's the beautiful sunrise so that's why I have my house right here uh, because I knew the sun would rise this way and I could look out my window and have a beautiful beautiful morning so what happens to the bad guys in the morning or during the di or during the daylight in fact because it doesn't just happen in the morning but it happens uh, when when the sun is out all the zombies the skeletons uh, will burn the only thing that do not burn creepers and spiders they do not burn but um, the creepers are still hostile as you can see they're coming towards me but the spiders are not hostile during the day, so they will not kill you unless you attack them first. So there we go. We killed a creeper. We are officially creeper hunters. Certified. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to survive the first night in Minecraft. If you guys want to see more videos like this on Minecraft tutorials, how to craft things, how to do whatever, be sure to let me know. So thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial video on how to install skins and texture packs later on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys out. And I will see you guys later. Take care, guys.